Diabetics, eat these carbs. Today, I'm going to suggest you to eat these carbs. You heard me right. I said eat carbs. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a certified diabetes educator. If you think that not eating any carb at all, including the healthy ones, cures the diabetes, well, that video is not for you. People have developed such a hate for carbs, and if you are diabetic, you may have been told to avoid carbs altogether. But the truth is, choosing the good carbs can actually help you manage your diabetes and provide you with the energy you need to conquer your all day, minus any blood sugar spikes. If you have diabetes, yes, you do need to watch your carbohydrates. The wrong type of carbs can cause blood sugar spikes and over time will lead to diabetes-related complications. But wait a second, you do not have to give up on carbs completely. You just need to make sure to choose the right ones. Let's talk about my suggestions for the good carb choices for you. Stay tuned for my last suggestion. It's definitely not one you would be expecting. Number one, lentils. As you may have heard me say in previous videos, I absolutely love lentils. Lentils provide protein, carbs, and fiber and iron all in one. Now, lentils contain about 20 grams of carbs per half a cup of serving. And lentils are very versatile and can be used in many recipes. Not to mention that they are good for your heart. Lentils work super well in salads too, with some cucumber, some dill, tomato, and feta cheese. You're in the heaven. Add some lemon juice and olive oil, remember that, and you're in a tasty meal. Number two, sweet potatoes. Well, sweet potatoes are sweet, aren't they? They, everybody loves them. They are not only delicious, but they are filled with fiber and vitamin A. So potatoes are not as easy on your blood sugar. So, but this one, the sweet potatoes, they cause a less significant blood sugar spike. My tip is to leave the skin on for extra fiber as well as for nutrients and keep the portion size in control. Many people do not realize that the skins on the fruits and vegetables contain a significant source of nutrients. Also, one medium sweet potato with the skin contains around 26 grams of carbs, remember. Number three is the oats. Oats are rich in fiber, which is slowly digested, absorbed slowly, causing less blood sugar spikes for sure. Oats also help to control lower cholesterol and they're excellent for your heart health. As a diabetic, you should be focusing on heart health as that's the number one killer for people with diabetes is unfortunately, as you know, heart disease. Now, be careful what you add to these oats though, because increasing or adding more carbs and extra fruits and stuff like that can definitely spike your blood sugar. It can be very unnecessary. So you can find hundreds of low sugar oat recipes online, and you can scroll for hours and hours on Pinterest finding some amazing recipes. If you don't like oats, you will end up liking them. There are around 21 grams of carbohydrates per three quarter for a cup of a serving. Number four is quinoa. I love quinoa. Quinoa is high in fiber and protein and other nutrients. It has a relatively low impact on your blood sugar. It is extremely versatile and can be a replacement for your rice and pasta. Try it, you'll see the difference. Number five, pumpkin. As we are entering the fall season, you will see pumpkin literally everywhere. And now I'm not talking about the pumpkin spice lattes loaded with sugar that you get on star from Starbucks, okay? I'm talking about the actual pumpkin. It's not just a decoration to be carved for Halloween or for a Starbucks menu item. Pumpkin is actually amazing. While it is a starchy vegetables, we accept that, it has fewer carbs than all of the other starchy vegetables Plus, it is packed with vitamin A, which is great for your eyes, and antioxidants. A half cup of pureed pumpkin contains only 10 grams of carbohydrates plus fiber, which can help regulate your blood sugar levels. Instead of thinking pumpkin is something sweet, try making pumpkin as a side dish by sauteing with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and with some fresh sage. Or simply 
just add on top of a smoothie. Number six in my list is yogurt. Well, as you know, I'm Turkish and we put yogurt on pretty much everything. Yogurt is a superstar in the dairy department for us. Yogurt provides not only protein and calcium, but also vitamin D, something many people, especially after a certain age, will definitely need, especially with diabetes. Some research suggests that actually eating yogurt may help prevent the diabetes and help blood sugar regulation. One large study actually showed that eating yogurt more than four times a week was associated with a 24% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. If you are going to eat yogurt, stick to plain yogurt made without any added sugars. You can sweeten it typically by adding some Splenda or some low-carb berries, such as blackberries, blueberries, and so on. There are about 17 grams per one cup of plain low-fat yogurt. Here's a quick little recipe for you. You can spread some yogurt onto a parchment paper, slice some berries, and you can even try and add some flakes of dark chocolate and freeze. After it is frozen, break into pieces and enjoy. Number seven, pancakes and waffles. Just kidding, not any pancake. My family loves Kodiak pancake and waffle mix. This video is not sponsored, but I figured I would add this to the list for fun because my 18-month-old son absolutely loves these waffles. Now, Kodiak makes a low-carb conscious mix. What I love about it is the ingredients are super straightforward and a serving has only 15 grams of carbs and 14 grams of protein. I have to be honest, by themselves, the pancakes or waffles, depending on what you decide to make, can be a little bland. My wife adds ground nutmeg, some clove, and cinnamon for some fall flavor. Remember, spices add no additional carbs, so season liberally. You can also go ahead and add some Splenda or Stevia into the mix for some sweetness. If you need to have something on top of a waffle or pancake, choose a sugar-free syrup or use something more natural like a tidbit of a honey or agave nut nectar. Just be mindful of how much you're drizzling on top because it can be a little excessive. You can use this mix to make not only waffles and pancakes but also muffins too. Imagine the possibilities, guys. I'm salivating just thinking about them. I have included a link in the description below for the carb conscious mix of Kodiak. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Be sure to share, like and subscribe to my channel. Also let me know what you think and share any thoughts you may have for the community. And see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, Watch this video right there, I think that will help you too.